Hi everyone, I'm Margrit Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kyiv, Ukraine. And today we're going to talk about some very exciting styling tips and trends for this autumn. They are very much in, they are very, very new and interesting. And I feel like each and every season, specifically autumn, feels very new to me in terms of all the styling techniques and stuff. To me, autumn feels like actually the beginning of a new fashion season, to be honest. I feel like autumn is very refreshing, even though it doesn't feel like it. For a lot of people, autumn is like depressing because it gets colder and stuff. But for me personally, there's so many options that are unlocking when autumn comes into full swing because you can layer stuff, you can work with different layers and layering the layers, you can work with different fabrics and textures because during the summer there's only so much you can do with one dress and one skirt and one top and stuff. So I feel like autumn when autumn comes people are just so ready especially in fashion to do stuff to do styling to experiment so that during the autumn or at the beginning of autumn there's so many new styling techniques and tricks are applied to fashion and that is the reason that is so exciting to a lot of people and that is the reason that autumn fashion the autumn street style is so interesting to watch so in today's video we're going to talk about the main trends and styling techniques for this upcoming autumn and then partial winter <music> And the first one to be talking about, definitely this one is to look out for, is tailored layering, which is such a beautiful concept. First of all, layering is not new to anyone at this point for fall or autumn, whatever you prefer. But I feel like layering with tailored things. So let's say with blazers, with jackets, with blouses, with different kinds of tops, with vests, also, let's say with men's style cotton poplin shirts is so beautiful because it's so unexpected. I feel like I'd say a pioneer couple of seasons ago in this field was actually, I'm proud to say, a Ukrainian beautiful stylish woman whose name is Julia Pilipas and she is very famous for her street style. She's also a founder of a beautiful recycle slash restyling brand called Better Me and she was also a fashion editor and director of Ukrainian Vogue and she's so stylish. So one of her famous street style looks was her layering women's styled but men's originally cotton poplin shirts which looked at the moment at that moment so new and interesting and kind of innovative so now we're taking a step forward and what we're doing we're layering jackets we're layering blazers vests and the more same styles or same items we're layering the better so it's obviously not new to us to layer like a blouse and then a vest and then a blazer but layering blazers layering shirts layering vests so same things but with a different materials and stuff maybe textures colors this is something that's going to be new and beautiful and different and i feel like this is going to make your outfit even though it could still be like an office appropriate outfit or meeting appropriate outfit this could give this oomph to an outfit and depth to an outfit that i feel like a lot of people are lacking specifically in this whole more office-like slash more official style area. The next one is definitely something that's very close to my heart, is a total leather look comeback. Very Matrix inspired to me personally. I feel like leather looks so rich and so beautiful. There's so many shades to leather that you can use. You can go all in with like a brown slash caramel type leather and this look is going to look more like less polarizing and more minimalistic and soft and beautiful. We can do brown leather, chocolate, colored leather let's do camel leather and this one's going to look like all rosy hunted and widely style and then obviously we can go full matrix mode and then we can do all black leather let's say this could be a leather bustier or a leather let's say shirt and then a leather pants and then a leather trench and shoes and the bag and if you're not very into the whole full leather look you can do at least a whole 
like monochromatic look and then let's say the back could still be black but with a different material let's say neoprene or suede so something's going to give a different kind of texture to the outfit and therefore will emphasize the beauty of the leather that's pre present in the outfit the next one is actually not very new, but in this instance and in this specific autumn season, this one is going to be very in because this one is finally, this specific trend is finally not only applicable to fashion stylists and fashion people and people in fashion and street style, it's come to like full circle it's come to a moment where people are actually wearing this trend and it's power dressing which i absolutely love it's first of all inspired by the 80s where the term power dressing has occurred first and this term refers to power shoulders so massive oversized structured shoulders which women wore which gave them kind of this emphasis on their power and their strengths in their working positions because up to that point not a lot of women were working like I'd say senior positions in different companies and since the dawn of times women were not in positions of power at workplaces so 80s were specifically the time and the place where lots of things changed for women for the best people and women specifically started becoming CEOs founded companies and stuff and they kind of had to I'd say reinforce this whole mood with their clothing for men in their companies to perceive them as powerful so a thing that kind of make them feel more powerful were actually these power oversized men's inspired shoulders on women which looked so beautiful and strong and so kind of masculine but feminine in the best way so power dressing now and power shoulders now are these massive YSL styled YSL was one of the brands that kind of reinforced the trend back a year ago shoulders with blazers with outerwear with vests everything that has a shoulder it has to have like a shoulder pad and then the shoulders should be pointy and oversized and structured and the blazer whatever it is should hold its shape so that you feel this whole mass of a shoulder kind of weighing on you and uh, powering over you in the best way possible and then a trend I completely adore is the 50s i love everything 50s actually i feel like 50s were very feminine and it was kind of a beautiful direction for fashion and for women because it was emphasizing women's curves it was modest but feminine and sexy in the best way possible and this season full length and full a line like twisty 50 skirts are very in and the longer they are the better so i'd suggest going midi skirts for the best kind of combo possible and prada was like one of the brands that reintroduced this trend for this season and i love their version of the 50 skirt with like appliques and different like flower prints and stuff so something that's going on on the skirts but obviously you can go your own way and these skirts could be very minimalistic if that's your approach but i feel like this is the best way to kind of keep worn because once fall kind of sets in it gets starts getting chilly and chillier because you can wear tights and stuff and the skirt is going to fully cover everything that's you're wearing underneath and you can also kind of go double layer and you can wear for example an over the knee boot or like a high knee boot and then put it under the skirt so they have two layers of different kinds of fabric that is going to protect your legs and you're gonna be very warm and cozy and it's still gonna look so beautiful and feminine and you can do like a crop top oversized blazer let's say um, turtleneck we can do t-shirt we can do men's style cotton poplin unbuttoned shirt over it so up top with the skirt so there's so many options that could go beautifully with this kind of a skirt and one of the options is actually a two-piece set so a top and a cardigan and both of them are knit let's say cashmere uh, let's look for an example from the 50s but 
let's say, reformation are doing them beautifully now. And the look is going to look very 50s inspired, but in the best modern way that's possible. And the last trend is long line, beautiful maxi knit white dresses. Such a stunning, minimalistic, feminine trend to have. And because they're knit, they could be very, very warm, so it's really practical. And because of the silhouette of this long line, straight, kind of maxi, all-encompassing dress, it's going to look so beautiful and stunning, so shocking to the eye, and so simplistic in a way and so like ethereal because of the color as well. And the white obviously is not the color you usually see on people and expect from people over the course of like fall winter months because everyone's going very dark full like coverage mode. So I feel like this is the best option to opt out for. And let's say you can pair them with something as shocking and unexpected as combat boots, but also something with like a longer point to your toe with a kitten heel heel over the knee boot or knee high boot let's say that could be kate inspired and this whole look is going to be just so stunning ethereal and beautiful yet very practical and could be worn for each and every occasion so i feel like this specific trend is not only here to stay but is going to be everywhere absolutely everywhere you're gonna see these kinds of like dresses and stuff everywhere mass market middle market luxury segment and on people because it's so like appeasing to the eye and let me know in the comments below what's your favorite fashion trend for the upcoming season what you're shopping for what you're looking for and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one bye